you know, our mission was uh, was to kill 2020. There is no other agreement in place. And just like that, the Republican walkout is now over. An hour ago, the Senate minority announced his caucus will be back for the morning session tomorrow. They walked out last week over a cap and trade bill. Senator Herman Berchiger called the called it the hardest decision that he has made. And with just a few days left to go till the end of the legislative session, there is a lot of work that needs to be done. Let's get started with team coverage for you at noon. Morgan Romero and Tim Gap, Tim Gordon rather, are at the Capitol. Let's start with Tim. And Bearshiger said that the Democrats assured him, Tim, that cap and trade's dead. Right, he says he came back late Wednesday and spoke with Governor Brown and also uh, Senate President Peter Courtney. He says they now trust that Democrats don't have the votes and House Bill 2020 will die. So they will return and get back to work here with just the weekend ahead left in this session. So what will they get done when they come back into the Senate chamber after eight days lost? Well, they'll have two days to tackle as much as they can on 140 bills that froze because of the walkout. We will see how far they get. Now, the Republicans that walk say it was the right thing to do for their constituents in rural Oregon, the log truck drivers and the rest who have made a lot of noise in Salem over the cap and trade bill, especially yesterday. They say it would have increased fuel prices and make businesses move or close. Well, Bear Chigger said a week ago, as Republican leader, he was the only one in his caucus against walking out. But he eventually said yes to it, making it a unanimous decision to leave the Capitol, in many cases, the state. We kept telling leadership this bill was going to devastate rural Oregon, and leadership did not believe us. Well, you know what? I think after yesterday, they might believe us now. Our mission of walking out of this building was to kill cap and trade. That's what our constituents said. That's what our constituents said yesterday, and that's what we did. And I'm proud of this caucus, even though it's probably the hardest thing that we have ever had to do in all of our lives. And he says he hopes he never has to do it again. Now, Bear Chigger was asked also about those fines Republicans face, $500 per day for leaving. He said they're negotiating over that, but any fines that are paid would be paid personally by the lawmakers. There were ethics concerns about that. Now, the leader said most Republicans should be back by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Some are so far out that they may not make it back, but they should have plenty to do business tomorrow morning. And he thinks they'll get everything done by midnight Sunday. 